So actually, the Edisonian uh, approach to invention is based on trial and error approach rather than a systematic theoretical investigation. It is of course successful, but um, it requires a lot of time, money, energy. So uh, we are trying to investigate a systematic theoretical approach based on a screening of a large amount of materials and, for example, uh, to go for one class of materials and try to screen all different elements to check stability, voltages, and these are important parameters uh, which are relevant for battery application. And even go beyond that, for example, to uh, identify descriptors for important parameters. And even uh, going beyond that uh, to just uh, find new material and accelerate materials discovery. Iron mobility is very critical. As an example, the range that you can derive by uh, electric vehicle in a winter time is much smaller than the range that you can go in a summer time. So, and the reason behind that is iron mobility. So this is a very critical, important and critical and important parameter, and we want to improve it. We want to find out materials uh, that have that they show a very good voltages as well as good iron mobility. It means that you can charge and discharge this material very fast and they can uh, have a very long cycling and even more, they are much more practical for, let's say, transportation and or daily life. So what we have in solid uh, most of the time is hoping from one stable side to another stable side. Then you can uh, just define the diffusion as a hoping uh, between different stable sites. But what we have in liquid is different. So we have gradient of, uh, let's say, density or gradient of, uh, for example, concentration. These are something that uh, you can uh, use in order to identify and describe uh, mobility and also diffusion in a liquid and in a solid. And uh, what we are investigating at the moment is most of the time for uh, solid uh, that can be used as a cathode and solid electrolyte in battery material. So we are using quantum chemical simulations uh, based on density functional theory. And uh, using this framework, we try to simulate most of the materials. And uh, our specific goal is uh, to find a descriptor that works and we can use them in order to quickly search in a periodic table to find the most uh, suitable element and try to replace it into the material to get the performance we want. So, and we also have kind of the screening that we go uh, for a screening a lot of materials and then we apply a workflow that in workflow, first we analyze the stability to show which material shows the stability. And then we analyze, for example, if you want to go for cathode material, we analyze um, open circuit voltages. And if these two, for example, uh, parameters are perfect, then we will go to evaluate migration barrier in order to see if we can use this material in practice. And then we propose new material uh, from our theoretical point of view and we ask our experimental colleagues to synthesize that. Okay, the biggest challenge uh, is that uh, we have uh, in chemistry, uh, bronsted evans polanyi relationship. So this is a, a basic in chemistry, and this is something that we do have also in material research. So it simply means that uh, the insertion energy, when it's higher, so the migration barrier also is really higher. So it means that higher 
voltages that you can get from the material, then you have higher migration barrier or low mobility. So the material that we want to have a better voltages, it means that they represent a very low ion mobility. So, and this is the linear scaling relation. And this is a big challenge. I know we are searching for approaches in order to break down this uh, linear scaling relation. I, if, you, if I want to give you an example, uh, we have something in catalytic activity. For example, for oxygen uh, reduction reaction. So uh, that you use a metal in order to uh, reduce oxygen and try to release O2 from the surfaces. This is the reaction which is happening. And now in order to break down this kind of linear scaling relation, there is the idea of a single atom catalyst. I know we also want to bring these ideas into the battery research in order to break down this linear scaling relation and try to uh, find new materials that they show a high voltages and very low activation energy. As an example, I can give you, for example, one way would be to introduce a, a new element into the crystal structure, something that we call it doping. Another way is that we can use a co-intercalation strategy or we can use pillars in a structure in order to open up the space between the layered material and then try to get better diffusion while you are keeping the voltage constant. And even for example, go beyond that to use uh, anion redox chemistry in order to break down these rules uh, to have better kind of diffusion and even more important voltages both together. So our finding is that, uh, of course, uh, these are not easy tasks and we have to spend so much time on that. But uh, our finding is that uh, applying uh, workflows and screening uh, material. So these are something that we can go for it for sure, and we find new materials. And these are very reliable. And more importantly, we found that, for example, uh, the co-intercalation strategy, uh, it works. You can at least get better performance for those elements that uh, before co-intercalation, they do not uh, diffuse in a cell. So when you have a co-intercalation strategy, then you have a better performance. Uh, even more, for example, for pillars, you can keep the voltages, open up a space, and for example, you can better, uh, you can have better diffusion. So these are a lot of things that we can talk about, and we prove that uh, now with this kind of the attitude, we are able to go beyond this understanding and try to break down rules and find new materials. So our future plan is that uh, now uh, we have a workflows that we want to, for example, make it uh, uh, publicly available. We have also all these simulations. And what we did is that a simulation is available. Besides simulation, you can analyze them, for example, to see the spectroscopy and uh, different uh, parameters for the battery usage. For example, what is the voltages of this material? What is the stability of this material? What is the conductivity of this material. I know uh, what we are going to do, we are going to use this data in order to use them as a database for a kind of machine learning and try to use them in order to find descriptors. And also we want to make them publicly available that when you, if you want to check to see this material works for me or not, you will go and you check that to see what is the uh, important parameters and is it applicable for my electrochemical cell or not.